Hey guys and girls, today I'm sh gonna show you how to build a retro arcade based on a Raspberry Pi. It's a full but simple walkthrough, it's easy and you don't need any programming skills at all to make it. First you need a Raspberry Pi itself, this is a version 3 but should also work for other versions. This costs about 40 bucks, I'll provide the links in the video description. I also would recommend buying a housing right away to prevent the Pi from damaging. Then you need a micro SD card for the operating system, an USB stick for the games you want to play and a power supply. For the arcade controller you need the buttons and joystick together with the USB encoder. It can be bought in a set for about 40 bucks. For the controller housing I used a simple plywood box. The dimensions are about 20 to 40 centimeters or 8 to 11 inches. I have started with creating the labels for the buttons. For this you have to unmount the button to get the right dimensions for the labels. I've used the GIMP software to create the labels, but you can use any other graphics software you are comfortable with. To get a more or less economic positioning of the buttons, I have roughly drawn the position of the fingers on a piece of paper in order to get a better idea of the position for the buttons. Here I reinforced the lid with th some wood because it seemed a bit too thin for the forces of the joystick.
to check if all the buttons light up, I put power in the emulator. The software setup is pretty easy. First we need to download our operating system for the Raspberry Pi, which is called RetroPi. The image of the operating system has to be deployed on the SD card. To do this I use Balena Etcher, which is very simple to use. Now we can put our SD card into the Pi and connect the USB cable of the emulator to the upper port. This is important for controller detection in the software. Then the HDMI to the TV and the power supply cable are connected. The whole installation process can also be read on the RetroPie homepage, where everything is described in detail. Uh, then the games, also called ROMs, have to be copied to the USB stick. To do this, you first have to create a folder RetroPie on the stick, then you insert the stick into your Raspberry and the required folder structure is created automatically. When the Raspberry stops flashing, you can remove the stick and copy the games to the RetroPie slash ROMs folder. Afterwards, you can put the stick back into the Raspberry. When the Raspberry stops blinking, the games are ready. Now you have to restart the Raspberry to complete the installation. Please consider ROMs are copyright content and as such are not included with RetroPie. And you should only have ROMs of games that you own. For all tools and supplies I have used, please check the link in the video description. If you have any questions or thoughts, I would be happy if you leave me a comment. I have got a lot of types of other project videos in which you might also be interested in. Check those out and don't forget to subscribe and like. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, stay safe and see you next time.